Hey guys, Sawashi Risako, uh, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, requested that I do a video on uh, basically my game collection. So uh, I decided that I'd uh, finally do that, and um, yeah, so let's take a look. Uh, if you see anything that you want me to unbox or uh, you know, do anything particular on uh, in this video, then uh, just leave a comment and uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably get to it eventually. So before we get into all this though, um, I thought I might start with the consoles. So I have, of course, my Wii, uh, <laughs> my PS2, my uh, NES, Super NES, N64, uh, GameCube. Uh, I've got a PS3, uh, not in here, but in another room. And uh, I've got a gaming computer uh, down there, if you can see. And uh, I also briefly had a Dreamcast. Uh, it arrived in the post a, a few days ago, and when I turned it on, it uh, kind of exploded. So, um, yes, yeah, just getting a replacement on that. But, uh, yeah, so just imagine a dream coaster. There. Uh, up there, I've got Metroid Tr uh, Prime Trilogy poster, and I've got the uh, Mario 25th Anniversary poster and all that. Uh, and down here, I've just got an AV changer, so I think that's all that is. Um, and then over here, of course, we have the collection. Uh, so I've been collecting games for quite a long time now. Uh, not nearly as long as some people, but uh, you know, most of my life I've been buying games, so I have amassed a pretty decent collection. So uh, starting up here, we've uh, got a few different things. We've got uh, well, that's for Pokey Walker. Uh, I've got uh, the N64 transfer pack. I've got a Nintendo DS original, uh, Nintendo 3DS box and chargers and all that. Uh, the 3DS is actually just down right there. Um, I have an original PSP. Uh, I have an iPhone 4. And uh, I've also got the Crisis Core limited edition version of uh, the... Well, basically the, uh, the PSP uh, Lite or PSP Slim, whatever you want to call it. So if I can just get that out. Uh, there's all that, so on the back. We've got that. So yeah, that, that's uh, pretty nice. Basically, my original PSP got broken, and uh, I was looking to buy one around the time that Crisis Core came out, so ended up importing it from Japan. So yeah, that's all that up there. Uh, up even further, you can also see I've got a GameCube box, uh, N64 box. Uh, I've actually got a pre-owned Xbox uh, up there as well. Uh, I don't usually get it out, though, because I don't have much for the Xbox. I've also got Eye of Judgment up there, and uh, some Wii peripherals, and the Wii box, and N64 controller. And then we've got the PlayStation 3 box up there, all that stuff. So, um, that's all that. And uh, going down the rungs, basically, uh, over here I have uh, my box NES and Super NES games. So I've got you know, Super Mario Brothers, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to go through them all, but you can, you can see everything there. Uh, I've gotten to... Actually, I think the only Super Nintendo game so far I haven't done is uh, Castlevania 4. I did, uh, as you may have noticed in my Donkey Kong Country unboxing, uh, have a copy of Final Fantasy 3. But uh, I bought that from a shop called East Starland and the quality just wasn't really good enough uh, on the inside, so I sent it back. And uh, then we've got some of my Japanese Super Famicom games. Uh, I actually have a few more of them uh, which I had to move. They're down here. So, there they are. Um, then we move down, strangely enough, to uh, PS3. So, all the different games there. I've got all the Assassin's Creed uh, collector's editions, or at least the versions that you'd get in Australia. Uh, except uh, Revelations over here. That's the UK version. Um, so, then I've got more PS3 games. Uh, Arkham City should be over there, by the way. And uh, then I've got Pokemon Stadium, because its box is too big to fit anywhere else. And I've also got uh, free 3DS games, Ocarina of Time uh, and Mario on Mario Kart. Uh, then I've got PS2 games. Uh, there, was a, there was a rhyme and reason to this originally, but it's kind of, as I've gotten uh, new systems and more stuff, it's uh, become a bit diluted, so... Got all the dra different Dragon Ball games over there, and Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, Prince of Persia... Uh, Star Wars, Beyond Good and Evil, Dragon Quest, Jack and Daxter, Bratch and Clank, 
Devil May Cry, God of War, Shadow of Courses, etc. Um, then we've got my Sega Mega Drive games. So the Mickey Mouse ones, uh, Eco the Dolphin, Sonic 1, 2 and 3. Unfortunately not Sonic and Knuckles because uh, its box is a... Well, getting a good copy of it in a box is uh, rather difficult, I've found. Uh, Aladdin, Reve uh, Revenge of Shinobi. Uh, two more 3DS games, uh, Rayman and uh, Super Street Fighter 4. And uh, then we've got my newly acquired Dreamcast games. So Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Jack Grand Radio, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, and Shenmue. So I'll be getting to some of them soon. Um, let's see, then we go up here. So we've got my Game Boy Color Limited Edition version. Uh, all my original Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, Game Boy Advance games, and uh, DS games. That's not all of them. Uh, I've actually lost a lot of DS games over the years, traded things in and sold things and all that, but uh, I do have a few more than that. Then we go over Wii games, so Zelda, Mario, uh, you know, the Wii Sports range, Metroid, Donkey Kong, Kirby, Smash Brothers, Sonic, Pikmin, uh, Epic Mickey, etc, etc. So. Actually, there's Xenoblade over there. Okami. Lots of good games. And, uh, okay, then here we have the N64. I used to, uh, when I was young, have a pretty large N64 collection, but a lot of uh, my games I was uh, stupid and traded in. So, I'm slowly recollecting everything. So, we've got uh, the box for Mario 64 and Mario Party 2, Smash Brothers, Banjo-Kazooie and Tui, uh, Donkey Kong 64, GoldenEye, Pokemon Stadium 2 and Ocarina of Time. And uh, then we've got GameCube games, so everything here, so Zelda, Smash Brothers, Metroid, Soul Calibur, etc. Uh, then we've got PlayStation 1 games going all over the sh um, shop here. But uh, so Final Fantasies, Chrono Cross, etc. I, I don't really have uh, many PS1 games. Uh, then we've got PSP which uh, is basically everything else. A few Japanese uh, Bleach games there and all that. Some of which were alright. So yeah. So that's all the different shelves. Um, then we have the drawers. So everything's a bit hodgepodge in here but uh, we'll try and go for it. So we've got uh, a few other Wii games. There's my old uh, Wii Freeloader which Unfortunately, doesn't work after patch. What was it, 2.5 or something? Stupid old Nintendo. Uh, then we've got uh, some Xbox games. Basically, just Knights of the Old Republic, uh, Matrix Path of Neo, and Rally Sport Challenge. Uh, we have the Skyward Sword uh, collector's box. Uh, I'll probably get to that eventually too. Not that everyone else on YouTube has hasn't already done it, but anyway. Um, and we've got some more PS2 games, uh, one more GameCube game, an action replay, uh, some more DS games, some more PS2 games. It's kind of all over the place here. Uh, this is one thing that I really want to get to sooner or later, and uh, that's the Zelda Game & Watch. Uh, so, that's uh, pretty cool that this was basically Nintendo's first portable device, and one of the first uh, portable game systems around. Uh, I've got a SNES controller. I've got that horrible uh, $120 Spider-Man 2 LJN game. I've got some more uh, Game Boy Advance stuff. Uh, some more DS games. I've got some PAL Super Nintendo games without boxes. Uh, and there's an NTSC copy of Star Fox, which barely works. Uh, there's the Famicom Disk System version of uh, Zelda 1. Uh, there's my NES game collection, so all the Mario, Zelda's, Metroid, uh, Dragon Quest 1, Final Fantasy, and Ninja Gaiden. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's New Super Mario Bros. as well. Um, I have a broken disc 1 of Chrono Cross, which I don't know why I've actually still got that. Um, Final Fantasy 8 demo, a Beyblade PS1 game, the awesome Spider-Man 2 uh, PS1 game. Final Fantasy Tactics, Advance. Uh, 
for my Arquest Jewel Sympathy, uh, Prince of Persia, or Battles of Prince of Persia, it was a bit odd, uh, kind of fun. Uh, and we have a Super Game Boy. So, uh, yeah, plenty of stuff in this uh, drawer, but uh, yeah, it is all kind of uh, just thrown in there. There's not a particular rhyme or reason to most of these things. I mainly only get out, uh, you know, NES games from here, so it's uh, not that imperative that I clean it up. So that's all that. Then in here, we have a uh, Sega Mega Drive 2 uh, user manual. Uh, we have Dungeons and Dragons Online, for some reason, in there. Mainly because it wouldn't fit. Uh, we've got a few different RAN CDs, and uh, we've got Exploder, which was a PlayStation 1 cheat system. Uh, we've got the network access disc for the PS2. We've got Fantasy Star Online. Uh, we've got a few uh, PAL version NES games, so the original TMNT, uh, Metal Gear, and uh, Mario and Dunk Hunt, Duck Hunt, and all the peripherals, which I've shown before. Uh, yeah, so you've got all the zappers and all that stuff, a memory card, and yeah, plenty of stuff, different things in there. Oh, and also a uh, region adapter for the Super Nintendo. Oh, and an eye toy. That's all the way down there, as you can see. Okay, my last draw. Uh, so there's all my N64 games uh, put into a nice little collection. I actually do have uh, Majora's Mask here. When I uh, got it pre-owned, someone had put uh, Zelda 2 on there, so I had to correct it. <laughs> that was when I was a kid, so... Um, then we've got a few different things. Banjo-Tooie's Video Easy Box, and uh, Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer, Bugs Life, and another box for Donkey Kong 64. I've also got some Dreamcast cords, uh, a fairly new Dreamcast controller, and uh, VMU plugged in there. Uh, I'll cover the Dreamcast once I get my new one back. I have an old uh, N64 analog stick. I installed a new one in my controllers. And uh, we have two extra N64 controllers. So yeah, that's all the uh, shelves. Oh, I forgot to put... Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, uh, something actually I forgot to mention. Here's my Sega Mega Drive with Sonic 3 in it. Uh, brand new copy of Metroid Fusion, which I've got to sell. It came with uh, it came with my purchase of uh, Zero Mission. Uh, we got World of Warcraft, uh, Burning Crusade Collector's Edition, and Cataclysm Collector's Edition. Not that I'm really that big a fan of WoW, but I enjoyed it back. Uh, well, well, 2005, 2006. Around there. Um, and then we've got a whole lot of different PC games. It's kind of hard to uh, go through them all, but you know, I've got Elder Scrolls and uh, I've got Morrowind somewhere around here. And Dawn of War, uh, the Jedi Knight games, Mass Effect, Dragon Age, uh, The Witcher, Fable, Transformers War for Cybertron, Flat Free, Crisis, Portal 2, Lord of the Rings War in the North. Uh, Total War Shogun, uh, there's Deus Ex Human Revolution in there, uh, Battle for Middle Earth 2, and I've also got Warcraft 3 Battle Chest in there, and also uh, Medieval 2 Total War, uh, Battlefield 2142, Star Wars Empire at War, City of Heroes, yeah, plenty of stuff in there. And uh, even though this won't open because these drawers kind of are busted, uh, I've also got Star Wars Galaxies, the complete edition, uh, in here. And also, I believe Final Fantasy XI is in that second drawer as well. Um, aside from that, that's, uh, yep, anyway, that's basically the lot. So it's, uh, it's taken long enough if you're still with me. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this look at, uh, well, my games collection. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you later. Oh yeah, and uh, StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty Quakes Edition. Bye.